Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, I show you how to create background process in your Android app. So let's begin. We'll create a very simple uh, layout uh, as usual, and I think I'll name it as background process. You can name anything uh, for this app. Click finish. I just want to show you the key concepts. It's very simple. Once your ID gets loaded, uh, it should, this kind of screen should appear in your Android Studio. So first and foremost, I'll create the background uh, uh, the uh, service class. So you can just create a new Java class here. You can name anything, but I will just name it, say, for example, my background process. Again, I'll repeat, you can name it anything. And it will create a new Java class, and you should extend it as broadcast receiver and that's it i think there is some oh, warning and it says you to implement methods just click ok and it will automatically implement on receive method this is the main method where you can do your things your stuffs whatever you want to do in this background process and you will be calling this background process or we will activate this background process in such a way that it calls repeatedly in after certain interval so you can do your repeated task over here so for demonstration purpose in this video, what I'll do is probably I'll just create a ringtone because uh, then, then we can hear something, the sound which will be uh, played and I can just get a ringtone manager dot get ringtone and then context will be of course the context which I derive from here in the uh, on receive method and then the uh, UD will be probably ringtone manager dot get default UD URI and this will be ringtone manager of type you can choose any type I think I'll choose just say for example type ringtone yeah the standard one because in emulator also this will be defined is most is very likely and once I have it I'll just play this ringtone and also probably what I'll do is I will just have a toast to display uh, context will be context as it is I think and in uh, text I can probably mention this is my background process and slash n and probably I can also print something like uh, the current time so I can put calendar dot get instance dot I think get time should be a function there yes and then I can change it to string tax it so this will uh, display and also of course we, uh, we are playing the ringtone but we have to stop it also so we can stop it probably ideal way would have been another trigger but since you don't have that luxury so what we can do is simply we can uh, after 500 milliseconds of break we can just uh, stop it so this, this break is necessary because if you don't give this this line it will play and immediately stop so probably you may not be able to hear the ringtone so that's why for a half a second which is a very small time i have kept it active and then only i am stopping it okay so more or less i think our uh, uh, background process uh, is ready or the service is ready now in the main java file or before we get into the main java or, or, or let me do one thing let me first create a public void and a start background process button click so I am I'm creating a on click method for a button this will be my trigger to start the background process uh, normally in apps you don't need a external trigger manual trigger it's usually when there is a listener or even on create method you can do it but uh, over here I just wanted to show very clearly how we are doing it and uh, in the design we don't need text uh, view is what I feel and you can just simply have a button and this button will be responsible to trigger that and we can have that constraints I'll keep it very short and simple and a start background is a name I'll give it that's it and in on click uh, over here you have to set that method which i just defined in my java code and here's there's some warning which we may have to fix it that's all in 
terms of XML file. So now we can start our Java coding. And in Java, what we'll have to do is this code is also very simple. You have to just create an intent, and this intent could be something like new intent. And here, of course, the first will be the context, the get application context, and the second one you can have as my background process dot class. So it will, it will connect to that, and then we can define an action point over here. Set action. And this is a string which you should be very careful because we will use the same string to define the trigger for this particular uh, uh, process and that, that will do it in the manifest file. So first, first let, let's define it here. So probably I'll just name background process. You can name it anything, this is string, but this string is like an identifier. So uh, yeah, be careful. Now what we'll define is probably we'll set the repeated task below. This is just a comment for my, my reference. So I think repeated task. And here first we'll define is pending intent. Pending intent will be equal to nothing but get broadcast. And here we will define the broadcast. So this will be your, and then the intent will be that intent which we have just defined above. And the other things you can leave it as zero other flags and the request code. And uh, yeah. So more or less our things are ready. Now we can define an alarm manager, which will what it will do is we will uh, call this uh, or, or we will trigger this uh, intent on on a regular basis uh, repeatedly. So so let's see how we'll do it. So first we'll get the get system service and here this context will be. I think uh, dot alarm service yes that's it so there is some warning let's see what it is so it says us to cast yeah so just click ok and it will cast automatically to the alarm manager and once we have it then we can use this alarm manager to set uh, so there are two options when you do set or in fact three options this one is only set which will run it only once whenever you what whatever the uh, parameters you give over here and then in repeat there are two options one is set repeating and one is set in exit repeating so the difference is in, in in this in exit repeating it will not repeat exactly the time what you give so i think for this demonstration i'll use repeating but it's advisable to use the in exit repeating that's better and more optimized okay so having said that uh, let me just quickly uh, define this so first argument will be of course rtc wake up and then the second is the delay. So delay will be probably I'll like to give zero. So I don't want to uh, delay it. Uh, yeah, I, I want it to start immediately. And then the interval time frame will be uh, uh, I think 10, 10 milliseconds I can give. I, I, uh, yeah. And then the last will be of course the pending in what we just defined our. And then we can use also the finish to close our. Um, app so that I can show you the effect that it really runs in the background okay so once done that and now the last thing which remains is to define the things in our manifest file so in manifest file just before this application just uh, write this receiver and then the android name will be of course the background process what we already have and what else you can have is android probably there should be an option called enabled and here it should be true and also I think we can have exported as true that's all I think and also one thing what we can do is uh, probably we can define the intent filter and intent filter will be uh, the action the, and over here the name of the string what we give there that most likely you should copy paste or you can even uh, retype but this should exactly match so that's how uh, your your uh, this will connect i mean whenever uh, this particular pending intent or this intent is being called it will it will call this particular uh, background process to this uh, uh, difference in this manifest file yeah so that's all is what i think i will just quickly run it in the emulator and see what happens my emulator has come up and I think I will have to uh, click on this button to uh, start this app or, or to start the background process. So I'm expecting like uh, any given point of time, uh, my ringtone should ring and that toast message should appear. 
one thing i like you to note over here although we have given a time as 10 milliseconds it will not be uh, appropriate because what happens is at os level it automatically optimizes that uh, so so what what android does it it collects all the uh, alarms and at once one go it, it will uh, call all of them so if you noted that that uh, message appeared i'll again pause and, and when the next time probably this alarm comes, I, I'll try to uh, unpause the video because I don't want to make this video unnecessarily lengthy. So I have unpaused and I'm expecting the ring should come back again anytime. And uh, probably I can do one more thing. Uh, I can change this uh, toast from short to long so that it appears for a longer duration. And also I can change this from 500 milliseconds to say for example 2000 milliseconds so that it the alarm is for a longer duration of time yeah so if you if, if you notice it, it it again appeared so uh, so although my app was not running but but it, it, it reappeared okay so i have done these changes and now again i am uh, re, re starting my app so i think i'll move this also to a bit in center uh, I, I didn't like this design. I just move it uh, somewhere near center. Yes, and again I'll run my app. And I, I start this uh, background process. This time I'm expecting that whenever it runs, this will run the ringtone for almost two seconds, which is quite long, and it should be audible. And it should also show this string. Uh, for a longer duration because I changed the toast duration to long over here Okay, so uh, in the meantime when we are waiting for this alarm to come up or this background process to do certain things I can just quickly summarize uh, Steps are simple. You have to define one background process or a separate class and you have to call this class from your main uh, uh, Java class um, um, uh, main class main Java file using an intent and you can call it repeatedly using that alarm manager concept and to make sure that this intent is connected to this particular service uh, to this particular class you have to define accordingly in your uh, manifest file uh, yeah so if you, if you notice this this alarm came and uh, and the toast message also came it came below so yeah and i, I think it will repeat again after after uh, after a while so I, I'll continue my summary. So the, and this this is the key part in the manifest file. So don't don't forget to miss it out. So that, again again it ran. If you notice and and, and then this message appeared that uh, yeah that this is a background process and blah 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 there. Okay. So I hope you you like this video. And if you have any questions or suggestions, then please put it in the comment section below. And if you like this video, then please 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 subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Bye.